Hello everybody, I'm back. I hope everyone is staying safe. Alright, so today we will be answering a question that I get a lot of times. Um, it's all about the main differences of having a Facebook boosted post versus Facebook ads created via the Facebook ads manager. So if you already own a business, this will be helpful for you to increase your sales and or expand your brand visibility to the market. Alright, so first things first. I would just like to clarify that boosted posts in Facebook ads via the ads manager are both considered sponsored ads. However, a boosted post is a post that is already on your feed and it's much easier to create. You just have to click the boost post option below your post if you have a Facebook business page or Instagram business page. So the main benefit of boosting a post is to maximize the visibility of that specific post to other people. So for example, only 10 people have seen your original post, most likely only the people who have already liked your page, so this could be your friends or family. But if you boost your post, you will be able to reach more people, even the ones who did not like your page. So if they are interested with your product or service, they will either like your page, message you to inquire, or perhaps if you get lucky, they will make a purchase. However, the main objective of this Facebook feature, Boost Post, is to really maximize the visibility and reach. But unfortunately, does not consider increasing your sales as its main goal. So you might be asking, how can I increase my sales or leads via Facebook ads? The answer to that would be creating ads via Facebook Ads Manager. Why is that? Because the Facebook Ads Manager asks you your objective. So, if you choose conversion, aka purchase, as the objective, it's like you telling Facebook, hey, I want to increase my sales, that's why I am creating this ad. In turn, Facebook will gather all the data that you have in your Facebook pixel and look for the people who will most likely buy your products or services. Not just visit your page or like your page. So you might be asking, which one would be appropriate for my business? Well, there are certain factors that you have to consider, such as number one, budget. If your marketing budget is below 1,500 pesos per month, then perhaps you can start with boosting your post because you may initially want for more people to know more about your brand and the products that you are selling. Another reason for this is that finding buyers would, of course, cost more than your ad be shown to a lot more people than your Facebook page likers. Like with anything, right? It's hard to find actual buyers than just the viewers, right? Number two, niche market. So in my earlier video, I have discussed about niche market. Niche markets are specific markets that are usually underserved. If you haven't watched it, I suggest you do so you will have a better marketing strategy. I'll just place the link on the description box. Anyway, if you do have a niche market, I suggest for you to run ads via Ads Manager because it will be easier for you to target them because it has advanced targeting capabilities such as narrowing your audience. So for example, you're selling soap, you target people who has body care as their interest and are also considered as an engaged shopper as their behavior. Number three, do I have a website? Facebook ads work well with website conversions or simply purchases made through your website. Every time a customer buys from your website, it's like your Facebook pixel becoming smarter because they are getting more data about the people who are purchasing from your website. It will be easier for them to find other buyers because they already know the traits of your current customers or buyers. And number four, is your business a long-term or a short-term business? If you are not planning to run your business for more than three months, you might be able to get away with just boosting your posts because it does not require your Facebook pixel to be smarter. It does not need too much data to make your brand visible to other people. So. If you're selling a trendy product, like for example, the fidget spinner of 2017, boosting your post could be enough for that kind of business. I hope that I was able to clarify the differences between the two. And again, I would just like to remind everyone 
that running an e-commerce business is not a walk in the park process. You'd really have to consistently research and make adjustments to your business for it to remain profitable. If you are running a dropshipping business in particular, please keep in mind that you're running a real business and serving real customers. It's just that a lot of the process is automated. So that's it. I hope that you guys are having a great weekend. I'll see you guys in my next video. And if it's not too much to ask, please give this a like. And don't forget to subscribe. Wishing you all success and goodbye.